from the wedding. And he said, I'd like you to surprise my bride on our wedding day with a song. I know, that's what I did. I was like, what? That is scary. You certainly don't want to write a crappy song for someone's wedding. You certainly don't want to write a crappy song and then have to surprise the bride with it. So I was scared. And um, he's like, I'm going to help you out. So he wrote me an email that had the rough draft of his vows and the story of how they met and generally how he felt about her. And he's like, you know, read this over and over and let this be the inspiration for your lyrics. So I read it over and over and over and over for six months. And then, true story, he called me up six days before the wedding. And he's like, how's it going? And I was like, well, three days ago, I went through a breakup, so I really don't feel like writing about your happy love and all that crap. So you might want a backup plan. And he's like, okay. <laughs> but you do have six days, so come up with something, let me know. <laughs> and we hung up, and that's when I realized that if I didn't write them a song, I was going to have to buy them a gift. So, <laughs> it was miraculous. It was all the inspiration I needed. I've never written a song so quickly in my whole life. <laughs> and this is their story, and it's called Right From The Start. Started by chance, then it was one. Okay, so you guys are going to line up behind me. Camera. <coughs> Camera. 
Tall guy in the middle. Cameron and Tommy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The side. <laughs> You know, if I didn't so you've all seen Glee, right? <laughs> so this is gonna be like a little bit Glee style. Okay, we will none of us admit to watching it, but we all know what it is. So, so these lovely, brave dancers behind me are going to, amongst themselves, maybe we need a dance captain. Anyone confident want to be dance captain? All right. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> So what they're gonna do is kind of like talk amongst themselves as the song is going on and also like you guys are having instant rehearsal right now because I'm gonna have a rehearsal with them real quick. So you guys are going to improvise a synchronized dance while I do this song. Okay, I love them. Now you guys are gonna be my horn section. So yeah, try and show. Okay, so you guys are my horn section, so remember what the horns sound like? Can we have a little bit more? Perfect! I always feel like I sound like a chicken, and that's what you're going for, so that's good. Um, so yeah, so the same thing, I'll be like, horn section, go! And you have to repeat after me, so you're also going to be singers. So it goes like this. Again! Four times in a row. Sounds like this. Again and again and again and again. Try it. Again and again and again and again. Beautiful. So it goes me, you, me, you, and then four times in a row, but all together at the same time. Does that make sense? Okay, so here's our big rehearsal. Again. 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 Again and again and again and again. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. Okay, and again, and also, you will, you'll know when to sing because I'll be like, sing, go! I mean, there will be some major indication that you should start singing. So, so don't be scared. Alright, so dancers, are you guys ready? Yes? Dancers are ready? Yeah. I think they're ready. Okay. And the horn players and singers, you guys are ready? This is a... Um, a song. God, there's kids in the room. Okay. It's a. Uh, hello. This is fine. You know what? Sometimes rebounds are a good thing. Sometimes they're healthy. Healthy way to go. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you looking at me? <laughs>
um, the second Christmas in a row that I've come here, right? For right. So basically, I'm on the road all the time, but my parents live in Cupertino, so I come home for Christmas, so they're always like, do the artist thing at Christmas. So it's cool to be back here, um, and like in the place where I grew up. So, um, so, um, so this is like the commercial part of it, and that's basically, um, if you guys liked what you heard or, or what I did, then um, of course I have CDs, and that's how I make my living. I do take credit cards because it's the future, and. Um, more importantly, I have an email list that, um, so if you'd ever like to see me play a show in the area, um, then I would love you to sign it if you are so bold um, and want to do that. So I have two albums, and uh, both, you know, all these songs are from both. Well, the first one's from the first one, and then the three are from the Anyway, that's a lot of words. So I'm just going to end with this song. That hopefully is a... That sounds pretty good. Does that hurt your ears at all? Anyway, my name is Jen Grinnells, in case you just walked in. And thank you so much for listening, and happy holidays, everyone. And thanks to the Red Rock guys for always being so nice to me and smiling when I come in.
And uh, so don't come down here next Monday. We won't be here, but come down and buy some coffee if you want, but we won't be here next Monday. And uh, thanks to everybody who came this evening. We'll see you in two weeks. Bye-bye.